And another tool in the fight against COVID-19 would be what goes down your toilet. The city says it's using wastewater surveillance to see if there might be any spikes in COVID-19 that are unaccounted for by more traditional testing. Here's Sam Spangler with more. The city is getting its hands dirty in search of COVID-19. And when it's here, it's sure to be found in the bowels of Honolulu, where a wastewater testing program is hoping to fill in the cracks of more traditional testing. COVID-19 can be found in fecal matter, which is why the Department of Environmental Services began collecting samples through wastewater two weeks ago. They then sent it to a lab called BioBot in Massachusetts. The technology that this came out of was actually for opioid testing to see how much opioids were being used in cities um, and they were testing wastewater to find out what was the prevalence. The technology was then transferred to find COVID-19. Now if you're worried about your privacy, the results won't be able to pinpoint where the disease is. It tracks larger trends in how prevalent the virus is among the population. Data not currently widespread enough to find through standard or antibody testing. If we see a spike, you know, we know that potentially there's a lot of asymptomatic folks out there that may not come, be coming in and getting tested, but they're going to be shedding virus and we'll be able to see that and it'll give us some warning signs. Future data could help determine how restrictive policy should be as Honolulu reopens its economy. It alerts people, in our case, the city and county of Honolulu, whether we have a problem, whether there's an increase in, in, the, in the virus. And this would be particularly interesting to know as we open up to visitors. Before the mayor and governor starts opening up Oahu, and if, as mayor mentioned, if the numbers start to trend upwards, then we need to maybe possibly pull back in certain areas. The pilot project comes with the relatively small price tag for the city. We've allocated at this point just $25,000 of CARES funds to do the first six weeks of testing, get a sense of a pilot. Does this work? Does it have a, um, you know, is, are the, the numbers um, authentic? Um, and if so, then we can potentially um, continue to use BioBot or we would love to partner again with a local provider. Honolulu has nine wastewater treatment centers where samples will be collected weekly. The city is one of 170 municipalities in 37 different states that are using BioBots as a program. Sam Spangler, KHON2 News, working for Honolulu.